have one on the tutorial and today we're not done surprisingly we're not done there's still one more thing we gotta do before we can call this game off pretty much and that is the last chapter of the game and there won't be any ring selections it's automatically skewering a but it's not gonna matter you'll see Just don't give up, do you? You brought me all seven world rings? Well done. Hey, of course. We're such good buddies, after all. Shara. <sighs> you have done well in using him to gather the rings. Now, give them to me. Hey, hold on. Aren't you going to do something about this? Shara. Please, quickly, let us rule the world together. Shara? W what? I... I must. Shara, stop! You can't do this! Think about what will happen! I'm sorry. I have no choice. I just want to be back with him. No! As genie of the ring, I command you! Do what you truly think is right! <laughs> Shara! Prayers, sadness, rage, hatred, joy, pleasure, wishes. The seven hearts that make up the stories. These are the seven world rings that bind these pages together. What? But the life of the collector of the rings shall be offered up in sacrifice as the key for that control. I offer up your life, blue hedgehog. Shara! Sonic, I'm sorry. I knew all along. I knew what would happen. And I still got you involved. It's okay. It's not your fault. Did I change my destiny? <laughs> Did I keep our promise? Shara, grant me a wish. I wish for you to not die and to go back to the way you were. I'm so sorry, Master. I cannot grant... In the end, such is the weak power of a genie of the ring. Just some incomplete monster!
my creator. The stories of this world are mine. If this is your world, then it's a world that I don't want any part of. <laughs> Welcome to the final part of Sonic and the Secret Rings. Some interesting notes about this character that we're fighting right now, you know, Alpha Layla, Walayla, I think it is. Oops. Is that, believe it or not, the only reason this character is not complete is because of the fact that it needs to absorb Sonic. Something to note is that since this is heavily shake focused, I'm going to I'm going to try keeping it like away from muting, you know? Like Oh god. I almost sniped me from there. You can barely see all that stuff. It doesn't help that the effect makes it harder to uh, see the screen altogether. All right, he's gonna go for the slow one. Nice. But yeah, I'm sorry if the. Uh, you're going to be seeing like constant muting and all that, but that's only because of the fact that these headset, the headset I have is a little bit loose right now. I am trying to tighten it, so like you don't hear that constant shaking sound. But I think it's just better I just cut out that uh, sound altogether, right? I mean, it only makes the most sense. Oh yeah, in this section, don't jump at all. Oh! Oh, okay, I see how it was. Come on. You actually don't really need to use time break there. You could also just take the hit and be completely fine. Alright. Alright, last little bit. Come on. Oh, never mind. We're at that point yet. Whoo! Okay, here we are. Alright, this should be it right here. Yep, that's it. Uh, like this one I have a lot of trouble trying to get the gold, but now that I got it like finally I am never doing that again I shall not be defeated if you defeat me, I will simply return again and again. I am immortal. I cannot be vanquished. <laughs> that can't be. That's the... <laughs> 
I want you to hold on to this. <sighs> to go back to the way you were. The genie of the lamp is supposed to grant three wishes. Am I right? I will never grant any wish from the likes of you. Huh. My first wish, bring Shara back to life. Oh, oh, oh. My body, my body is... Oh. Second wish, return the Arabian Nights to the way they were, so that the world can have its stories again. <laughs> My third wish, Eraser Jin, you shall live out the rest of time trapped inside your lamp as you were in days of old. Kara, I know you're there. Please stop him. We can start over. The two of us. I swear. I swear it. The world is mine. They cannot be denied by that filthy rat. Why? I told you, I'm not a rat. I'm a hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Shara, will you grant me one more wish? Hmm. I wish for a mountain of handkerchiefs. Now, just let yourself cry. As much as you need to, you'll have plenty of handkerchiefs to help you through it. And with that, my friends, that is Sonic and the Secret Rings for the Nintendo Wii. This game, man. This game was re this game has been really fun throughout playing this whole thing. It is honestly rather short, bearing I did like go through a lot of missions you're supposed to go through in order to play through this game normally. But like I can understand the issues that people have with this game. Like, I can argue about the controls all day and all night, but the thing I can ultimately agree with, the one thing I can agree with, is how slow the progression is with the game. Like with Sonic. Like, come on. Like, I had a lot of fun with this, but that's mainly because of how freaking fast I was able to go through, and how much, like, how far the homing attack can go through. How much, how much, like, how overpowered the sliding is. And while a lot of these sounds like, oh man, you just want to break the game and stuff like that. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to get at here is that the game felt so limited if you're just starting it at the very beginning. But when you level up and go through it all, the game would be really fun to play through. Only problem is, the way it takes to level up to get to that point not necessarily 99, but like, let's say, let's say 73, level 73 I think, either 73 or 72, like, up to that point, the game will be at its core at how fun it'll be. I mean, there's obviously going to be a little bit higher where you can get a few more, like the crests, which I do recommend going through, but all that stuff is at the very near end of the level up cap which of course is obviously the 99 but to get to that point it's gonna require you to play the game over and over and over again and you're gonna have to and that's not even counting the fact that there are soul rings to get gold medals all that good stuff 
which honestly while the collecting and all that uh, gold medal and grinding was fun for me I know that's not what everyone's gonna want to do it's the fastest way to level up I can tell you that but it is not a fun one because you're gonna have to go through the game over and over and over again and the music seven is I love all the music in the game but seven rings in hand is crazy overplayed like you hear it in the menu you hear it when you win or lose a mission when you succeed or fail I guess you could say and the final boss oh yeah and there's also the CG intro but that's like a little bit of it so I'll excuse that but everything else is like come on man you had a lot of music going in this yet you're telling me that it's okay that you guys have to have this music playing over and over again? Come on, guys. Now, the fun parts of the game. Of course, I didn't mention it before, the power-ups. They do make the game a lot more fun than uh, it is when you're playing it at the very beginning. The level design is pretty okay. Uh, the controls do make the level design feel convoluted. I'm not going to excuse that. But the level design itself is pretty, is pretty immersive. And while it is kind of linear, it makes you feel like you could explore through the whole thing. Like a huge, like more than just a plane of you going forward. I could tell you that if they took off the controls, like took off motion controls, while some people may not like it, because it's not utilizing what the Wii had to offer, it was that it would most definitely be one of those Sonic games that people would say was like super on the map and be immediately immersed into because of how the level design is and of course that goes with the music the music is oh my god the music is so fitting with how the stages are I don't really know one that feels out of place Like this one for instance, let the speed to mend it. This is one of those where it's like, you were just so pumped to play. And considering like it's right after the Lost Prologue, listening to this, it makes you seem, it makes you feel super hyped to play the game. Like, oh my god. The White Sky, The Wicked Wild, uh, I'm trying to think of one more. Not, not, no, not, see, not Seven Rings in Hand, like, Seven Rings in Hand is okay, but the fact that they played it so much here almost ruined it for me. Almost. Uh, you can thank Smash for that. Uh, there was one more. It's the. It's not. It's not the one like the palace has been found. It's not that one. It's the one that plays in the Pirate Storm. I forgot the title of it, but that music is also like pretty cool. Literally, uh, the bosses are okay. Like. I don't know, I can't really feel too much about the bosses except for uh, the one in Pirate Storm. Cause like the one in Pirate Storm, and Eraser Jin, of course, can't forget about that one. Those two, like those two were like the at most like decently challenging ones. Like I know I had power ups, but none of those power ups make you like, make your homing attack more powerful. They still take the same amount of hits as you would if you start at the very beginning. But like, what I mean is like the they didn't really feel that much difficult, like that hard to beat. I mean, especially the Ifrit. Like you could just go through that. Like I know I had again. I know I had the power up. So make going through that was like a breeze. But even if you play it through it like in a normal setting, a lot of the times it just feels like all you gotta do is just slow down a little bit, and then done. Boom. You just got the if for it because you just have to play a little bit patiently. Uh, let's see. Of course, the cameos of like I didn't get to show you the big the cat Easter eggs, but there's a lot of them on YouTube if you want to see them. Uh, of course, tails and knuckles. 
as Sinbad and freaking wait, Alibaba. I can't believe I almost forgot about Alibaba. I was just talking about how people can't forget about the 40 Thieves and yet yeah, Alibaba was part of that. Like, uh, hypocritical much. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just pretty much done with this game. I'm, I will go back to it and show like the party games later. But for now, I got another playthrough to return to. And I have been kind of holding it off since then, but I am going to be going back into Crash Nitro Car. Sorry about the suspenseful quiet, I just have to make sure you guys were listening. But yeah, I'm super glad I got to play this game. Who knows? Maybe sometime in the future I'll play Black Knight. I know that's going to be fun.